What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and welcome back for part 8 of my how to make a multiplayer first person shooter in Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series. Now, unfortunately, this is not going to be a very heavy episode. Um, we are just going to be fixing a couple of bugs. And uh, basically, I just wanted to touch base and let you all know that I am still here. I have not given up on this series and there are a at least a few more episodes to come. I know a lot of people have been asking for uh, how to spawn in with weapons. So I am planning a future episode with a sort of class selection screen where you choose your weapons and you spawn in with weapons. And I'm also planning an episode on fixing up the line traces and doing line traces from the camera instead of the weapons barrel. But with that in mind, this is just a very quick one today to fix a couple of bugs. The first of which is if I press play here, I've got this error about this animation blueprint. And I do believe it's because of this character right here that I've dropped into my world. But if you do have a similar error, um, this animation blueprint is actually not required because you will be retargeting and sort of uh, redesigning your own animation blueprints for your classes. So this one here, I'm actually just going to open it up and then click on this little browse icon up here to browse to the asset. And then I'm just going to force delete that asset to get rid of that error. We won't be needing that animation blueprint anyway. The other bug is if I just hit play here and I go over and pick up an assault rifle, which is a primary, and then pick up another primary and then a secondary, you'll notice that it is failing to destroy one of the primaries. Um, it actually successfully hides the primary. If I just pick up a primary and then a secondary, it's successfully hiding that primary. But if I pick up two, uh, it is failing to destroy uh, any of them, actually. And we, we do want them to destroy if we pick up. So this still exists here. And if, if I keep going around picking up primaries, it's going to keep spawning components without destroying any of them. So this is not ideal. And the problem is inside of our weapon comp master. So if we go to underscore main props weapons and open up BP weapon comp master. The problem lies in this destroy component node. Now, I don't really understand why this is not working. Um, I put a print string here and off the is not valid as well. And this is executing the correct uh, nodes as expected but it's just not destroying that component. But I have come up with a fix. Um, and the thing is, we're trying to destroy this component from this component, which is another sort of another copy of this uh, BP Weapon Comp Master or one of its, you know, child classes. Um, so I think that's the issue is just destroying a component from another class. Uh, so what we can actually do is just create a custom event and let's just call it uh, destroy self. And then here we can do destroy component, the target being the self. And then what we can do is just call this custom event uh, so that we're, we're calling that component to then just destroy itself. I'm just going to grab these nodes and this reroute node and move them to the left a little bit. And Let's just drag off of primary weapon here and let's call that new custom event destroy self. And we can also call that down here. We can hold control and just drag these execution lines and data lines onto the new node like so and delete that old node. So now if we pick up a primary and we've already got a primary, the new primary is going to call this custom event inside of the old primary, which will then destroy itself. And that should be all working now. If we hit play and we grab one primary 
and another primary, and then pick up a secondary that primary has destroyed itself. And it should also work with secondaries versus primaries. So if we pick up several uh, primaries, oh sorry, secondaries, actually what you can do to check this is now that this is running in the Pi, I can go into my weapon comp master and then up here where we can select a debug object, you can drop this down and you can see that there's um, a pistol in the server and a pistol in the client and an assault rifle in the server and an assault rifle in the client. So that's exactly what we want. There's one of each weapon uh, in the server and one of each weapon in the client. Uh, we could also go to the client here and do the same. Sorry, my, my VRAM is exhausted here. I could pick up you know, as many primaries as I want. And now if we go back to the weapon comp master and check the debug objects, uh, you can see what have we got here? We've got, yes. So each character has an assault rifle each, both on the server and on the client. And each character has a pistol each, uh, sorry, one character has a pistol on the server and on the client. So this is all working correctly now. We're not spawning um, copies and copies and copies of the same component. Uh, guys, unfortunately, this is just a short one today. As I said, just to touch base with you and fix a couple of bugs, I have been absolutely flat out recently. Me and the team have entered the GMTK Game Jam, which um, was four days of chaos. And we came 233rd out of thousands and thousands of entries. So we are very proud indeed of that. But obviously that took a lot of our time. And that game, uh, we are going to be polishing it and releasing it on Steam. So more news about that shortly. Uh, thank you very much for your patience and thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next one.